Royal dug a hole for Buckley behind the garden shed and buried him in a canvas stuffle bag. All right, boys. Say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father. I do. Etheline and Henry were married 48 hours later in judges' chambers. Margot's new play was produced at the Cavendish Theater. This is my adopted daughter, Elaine Levinson. <laughs> It ran for just under two weeks and received mixed reviews. Yes, can the boy tell time? Oh, my lord, no. No. Raleigh and Dudley went on a lecture tour to 11 universities in the promotion of their new book. <laughs> Eli checked himself into a rehabilitation hospital in North Dakota. Oh, hey, this is my sponsor, runs with two horses. Wind's blowing up a gale today. This is the grip that Rod Laver used. Are you familiar with Laver? Richie started a program teaching competitive tennis to 8 to 12 year olds at the 375th Street Y. Game, change sides. <laughs> Royal had a heart attack at the age of 68. Chaz rode with him in the ambulance and was the only witness to his father's death. In his will, he stipulated that his funeral take place at dusk. Among the few possessions he left to his heirs was a set of Encyclopedia Britannica in storage at the Lindbergh Palace Hotel under the names Ari and Uzi Tenenbaum. No one spoke at the funeral, and Father Peterson's leg had not yet mended. But it was agreed among them that Royal would have found the event to be most satisfactory.